What are the benefits of the partnership Rayo Bay has with the Northern Regional College? Having an education partner such as NRC, um, it's invaluable for us. It makes sure that our workforce has the skills and the knowledge that we need to be competitive in today's economy. How has the relationship developed over the years? I think right now we are probably at the strongest we could. Uh, I collaborate with NRC on uh, various projects. Um, we meet with NRC probably monthly if not weekly basis. There is lots of communication going on and we aim to basically reach the same goals. Um, how many apprenticeship or apprentices are currently on the programme? We currently have 37 apprentices. We are hoping and aiming to have 12 more adding this year. Um, the college also works with you to upskill your workforce in certain skills. How does this benefit with you? I'm a great believer that what we should and could train in house has to be done in house, but I also value a lot what NRC can provide in terms of external training. Uh, the knowledge that uh, the NRC lecturers have is extremely, extremely deep, and any time we have had to go for external training, NRC would be my first choice. Um, just thinking, for example, the last quarter, we have had ABB robot training, Kawasaki robot training, uh, electrical maintenance upscaling, loads and loads of training carried out by NRC. What advice would you give school leavers or anyone considering an apprenticeship? Mm. Having been there before myself, I would say the first thing is try to pause and think about what you really like and what you really enjoy. Do not uh, feel under pressure, especially your parents or your peers may be saying, oh, let's go to university. Pick something that you like and be the best at it. Tell us about your apprenticeship journey with the college and Dryobi. Okay, so I started the apprenticeship in 2012, September 2012 right through to um, September 2017, so it was five years long. Um, the first year of the apprenticeship was mostly based in the NRC, Northern Regional College, um, partly based in Ryobi. The second year throughout, the majority was in um, Ryobi on site, one day a week in the NRC, and that was beginning my Level 3 NVQ qualification, as well as my BTEC Level 3 qualification in Engineering. The third year followed then in uh, the same structure and the second year of the NVQ level 3 was completed and the second year of the BTEC level 3 was completed. That then followed on to the fourth year where I began my um, HNC qualification. Then following into the fifth year of the apprenticeship with the second year of the HNC qualification and I'm um, now fully qualified engineer. Would you recommend this route to others who are considering it? I would definitely recommend this route. Um, I think it's very important the the pathway I've taken into engineering. I feel is has brought me to a good stance professionally, and um, I would definitely recommend it to anyone looking into an engineering career. Okay. So, what were the best things about your apprenticeship? So, I would say the best things about the apprenticeship would have been the the hands-on training that was provided, and also the training that was provided by NRC and both uh, Railway. Um, what advice would you give school leavers who are still undecided about their future career? So I would say to the younger people out there who are looking into an engineering career to take their time and think about what sort of path they want to go down. Um, generally in engineering you would go to either university or like I have, you'd go down the apprenticeship route. Apprentices are key to the long-term recruitment strategy for skills here in Ryobi, Carrickfergus. For us to build a long-term sustainable business model, we need the skills provided by the training, given by the training uh, in conjunction with the local regional colleges and universities here in uh, Belfast. Uh, we're looking for young guys coming straight from school with good GCSEs uh, who have the right attitude, who are innovative, creative. Uh, we can rely on them because we run a 24-hour uh, day operation. We have two types of apprenticeship, a craft apprenticeship and a technical apprenticeship uh, for, for guys with the higher grades in their GCSEs who we can train, bring on board and develop up through uh, the BTEC, HND, even up to degree level uh, and eventually even uh, chartered engineering status. 
Uh, we've had good history of this in the plant, whereby some of our previous apprentices have developed into senior engineers and even senior managers within the organisation. It's an excellent training route. It is the future. Uh, this is a knowledge-based economy. We need people with the skills going into the uh, digital age with the new equipment which we're buying to manufacture products for the latest day technology in the automotive industry.